Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the final Storm of War, Soulstormcast, the side of East Yorkshire. And today we have a 1v1 on Meeting of the Minds. Over in the Orc corner we have Archigun, and over in the Necron corner we have got Look Inward. So, Looking Inward is opening up with 1, 2, 3, 4 Scarabs. Not even bothering finishing building his Plasma Generator, he is just going to focus down on these strategic points. Uh, Orc player opening fairly standard with 3 Slugger Boys. Um, while things are calm and, and just setting up, oh, lovely green hairstyle by the by. Um, yeah, this is going to be one of the first games I'm casting using the new, well not new, the, the, the newly discovered for me uh, website, um, uh, Dawn of War Stats .ru, C cannot remember it, but the link will be in the description below. Uh, so all these games are recently recorded. In the past all our videos have been based on games that have happened potentially years ago, whereas these ones have been recorded within the week, within the month, very recently, so I'm very excited to see uh, how these games are going to go on. Um, yeah, so anyway, on with the game. Uh, Scarab's just capturing their nearest and dearest. They're now focusing down on these plasma generators. Still no Necron Warriors as of yet. Uh, Orc player is building up a big mech. Sending out some boys, probably going to see what's what and what's going on. We now have one Necron squad being built up. So will that be enough to prevent the Orc player from seeing what's what? Uh, Big Mech is going to teleport in and go and see if he can cause any mischief. Obelisk not quite being finished as of yet. Necron Warriors are out and about. They see the Orc Warriors going over here, so they're going to see if they can harry him away. Very slow moving, these Necron Warriors. Now going to just follow them along. Engage them in close combat. Big Mech is also going to come up and see what he can do. We have another Necron Warrior squad also joining in the fray. These Scarabs are going to pay them no heed and just try and capture this strategic point. These Slugger Boys are not going to have any of it and they are going to see if they can prevent them from capturing the point. Necron Warriors quite durable. Remember that they do have a 25% chance in rebuilding themselves if knocked down. Another Necron squad is going to come out and it is going to manoeuvre these. Oh no, these Slugger Boys aren't running away, they're just chasing after these Builder Scarabs. But seeing the Big Mech in a bit of peril, they are going to join in and see if they can tie up more of these boys. These Necron Warriors are on auto rebuild, or auto replenish, sorry, so they will be increasing in number as the fight does go on. And a third Necron Warrior squad will be coming out to play. Uh, these Orcs, only four in the squad, one model very low on health. Big mech still quite healthy at the moment, mind you. Uh, we've got a shiny things going on the obelisks. So while they do not have their automatic fiery bits, they do have their ability where they can do a big boom. Will we see a big boom over here? Ah, yes. We oh, good lord. Taking out both of those models, wiping out the entire squad. Big mech now up against two squads on his own. And now three squads. Scarabs are going to capture this cheek point. And the Big Mech is going to teleport away over here with another squad of Slugger Boys. And they're going to try and take down this Obelisk. Uh, while they're doing that, what else is going on? Uh, Slugger Boys are going to be capturing bits and bobs. Gretchen's going to be building up a war banner. I do believe that Orcs for Tier 1 or Tier 2, sorry. Uh, they need five war banners. If um, the comments uh, in the comment section the other day uh, told me otherwise... I can't remember for the life of me. I do apologise. My memory is not great. Yeah, Obelisk firing out a big shiny doofer. It's going to be lowering all these orcs' health quite low. And these orcs are going to have their morale broken. And almost losing a, an, another model. Big Mech looking less healthy than he was a couple of minutes ago. But he is going to keep these Necron Warriors tied up. Remember that these Necron Warriors do have the ability to, to teleport. Although they did not use it while they were walking over here. Uh, another obelisk being built over on this relic. We do have a summoning car and just constant Necron Warriors coming out. This is brilliant. The slow march of the Necron Warriors cannot be stopped. Uh, critical location going to be captured by the Ox smack bang in the middle. But they will see these Necron Warriors coming in and they will move back out of their way. No Necron Lord as of yet, he says, as a Necron Lord is being built up. I wonder what's the... Ah, currently 91% uh, time bonus for the... Look how quickly that Necron Lord is coming out. So the Necron player focusing on capturing the points has played off very well. 
and the Orcs don't really have all that much to counter, although they do have two Shooter Boy squads and the Slugger Boy squad, so if they focus down, are taking down one model, was it one model? Yeah, one model quite quickly, and another model, but that, that next one is going to repair himself, coming back up with, I do believe it's, oh no, never mind. He just dies, bless him. He thought about getting back up and then decided, nah mate, I'm not bothering. Slugger Boy is going to capture his critical location in the middle. Necron Lord being chased away by this big mech. Necron Lord is going to teleport smack bang into the middle of these shooter boys. Going to tie these up, preventing them from firing. Big mech going to tie up these Necron Warriors. But we do have one, two, three more squads. And they are all on... Oh, sorry, this one is on constant refresh. of Storm Boys now jumping in. All sorts of mischief happening in the middle of this battlefield here. They are going to focus down on this Necron Lord. Storm Boys are going to try and... Well, they were going to go for these Builder Scarabs, but decided to move back a little bit. Probably trying to prevent the Shooter Boys from being tied up for so long. They do have two big shooters, and well, third big shooter coming down for both Shooter Boy squads. Big shiny green things going for the Necron Warriors tells you that they have now been upgraded. The health and damage going up a sizable amount. List the Listening Post has been upgraded as well, so they've got an even bigger shooty a bit on them. Necron Lord moving in, pushing these guys back, allowing the Necron Warriors to focus down on this poor Slugger Boy squad, and allowing the Builder Scarves to capture this critical location smack bang in the middle. They do have already one captured... Oh no, that is the Orc player that's captured one. Well, that has the second one been captured. Yeah, the second one has been captured, sir. Critical location victory on the cards. Storm Boy squad, very big at the moment. Let's see what's going on the bases. We do have a couple of war banners, two generators for the Orcs. We do have a fair amount of generators for the uh, Necrons, and they are now building up a Forbidden Archive. All sorts of chaos and mischief going on in the middle. Necron Warriors trying to engage everything and anything in close combat. Storm Boys doing their best, but with everyone moving, they're... they're as people move away, they can't quite get as many attack animations in as they would like. So, very good play by the Necron player. The Necron Lord almost going down, however. Big mechs on half health. But this is a lot of Necron Warriors to deal with. And the Necron Lord does teleport away just in a nick of time. Storm Boys, now only four models in the unit. Slugger Boys go down in a, in a flurry of gorse fire. The Listening Post, Tier 1, Tier 2, sorry, is going to go down fairly quickly as well. Storm Boys are going to jump in, but with their low health, their health on the models is going to basically melt them very, very quickly. Shooter Boys, one now with a knob squad. They do have a Blastia Research just popped, which will allow them to do a lot more damage in long range. With them, with these guys being a little bit faster, they are able to keep distance away from these Necrons, and the Necrons are going to teleport. Having done the damage that they needed to, they are now going to retreat back all the way over here. Probably going to focus on keeping down these critical locations. That's good though. I like how they they haven't committed all the way. They didn't need to commit all that stuff. They could just do as and when what they wanted. Gretchen is now going to come out and rebuild this listening post. Oh, I think I'm going to take a couple of seconds to breathe there. That, that was a lot of stuff to to um to cast just then. One Builder Scarab unfortunately goes down under the fire of the shooter boys. We're now having a critical mass of Shooter Boys being built up. Um, I've done a bit of research. Um, while things are calm, I'll let you know that as we are recording this, I have a little book in front of me where I've got loads of notes about certain races and units and abilities that they have. And Orcs do have an ability where the more boys they have in an area, the more damage they do and the more temporary health that they have and, and whatnot. So, so that's cool. More choppier research going down. So when the Necrons do engage them in close combat, at least the Shooter Boys might have some sort of combat capability. They are fighting down this Obelisk. Earl the Scarabs are going to repair it there, but they do not out-repair the DPS. Necron Warriors are going to slowly but surely move over to these Orcs. Necron Lord teleporting smack bang in the middle, and a Obelisk does do a big green shooty bits on them, reducing all the health down quite low. Big Mech does teleport these boys away into the midst of another Shooter Boy squad. These boys are 
unfortunately up Shit's Creek without a paddle. They are not in a good place. Necron Lord up in their grits while being surrounded by Necron Warriors. These boys are going to distract these guys. Doing a fair bit of damage though. They are taking down these Necron Warriors quite quickly. Two models go down. A third one almost going down as well. Necron Lord teleports in. Two models going down for the shooter boys. But they are on auto replenish. Necron Warriors slowly advancing. It's very intimidating. It's a very cool aesthetic really, isn't it? Quite like it. No, who, need, who needs the flayers when you can just send the Necron Warriors in? Necron Lord is really, really stop, really causing problems for these shooter boys. Stopping them from doing anything and everything. Although these Necrons are slowly but surely getting chopped down, but then there's just more that come around the side. The listening post being upgraded is doing its best. Shooter boys. Only four models left. The morale for this squad has been knocked down. Necron Lord going to engage. Big mech slowly but surely losing all its health. We do have tougher bosses research going down for the Orc player as well as the Necron Warriors go in round the side. These uh, bits have been decapped by the uh, Orcs. So the countdown has been finished. John Cena beam does come down. Preventing the shooters from shooting. Although the war trucks are now out. So while they are primarily good against vehicles, buildings and aircraft, because they are a vehicle, the Necron Warriors won't be able to do much to, to deal with them. Although the sheer amount of them, they will be able to cut down them fairly quickly. Relic being decapped by the Builder Scarab over here. John Cena being preventing any and all fire coming from the Orcs. Pile of Guns does go down as well. Although I do believe, um, oh no, no, no more Big Mechs, oh sorry, uh, no more uh, War Trucks are being built at the moment. Necron Warrior, Necron Lord using his, I do believe that is his phase shift ability, which prevents people in the nearby vicinity from taking any damage, although it does prevent them from firing themselves. Uh, and I do believe that phase shift gives them a 10 health per second regen. Yeah, you like that? You like that, uh... Little piece of information I'm able to give you. Fwah. Taking some notes, man. Upgrading the the ability of my casting quite considerably here. Who knows? I might be able to remember them, and I'll be able to tell you all that information, sounding naturally rather than like like looking like as if I'm reading from a school book, like some sort of student at a presentation. Uh, flayed ones. There we go. Now coming in. Although their teleportation is going to be countered by the Big Mech's teleportation. They are very slow and they are being knocked around by the war truck, preventing them from moving around. Has been upgraded with a bomb chucker, which makes it effective against infantry. Gretchen and Sally are being smacked around as well. War truck coming in. And it will allow the shooter boys to avoid the close combat of the Necron Warriors. The listing post does go down. But now the... Uh, uh, Necrons are in their own Cena beam. It's going to prevent them from firing all that much, and they are just going to teleport away to the safety of their own base, way, way over here. So that at least gives the Orcs plenty of breathing room. It will take the uh, Necrons a while to walk over, well, back over to the base, and it takes a long time for their uh, teleport ability to re recharge. We do have a defensive Gauss turret coming down, and the Awakened Monolith is, will be coming down as well. Necron Lord has gone down in that fight. War truck allowing the shooter boys to manoeuvre around a lot quicker. They are going to press whatever advantage that they can. They're going to come out, shooting down all these boys, and then quickly going back in. In, out, in, out, shake it all about. They have taken down three models, four models, five models. Yeah, now now that the Necrons are on the run, they, they, they don't hold up very well against this critical mass of shooter boys. War Truck is able to help them take down this obelisk as well. Necrons are now on the back foot. Immortals are out to help combat the War Trucks and War Tracks. We do have the Gretchens coming out, going to probably cap these critical locations. Can Grotz cri uh, capture locations? I'm not sure. Uh, War Truck is going to start destroying these obelisks. If the if they Orc player can destroy a lot of obelisks, I mean, we saw that the Necron uh, player had almost 99% whatever's oh 91 so they're still quite good at their with their um, uh, build times 
but it will go down as these things are destroyed. As the obelisks are destroyed. This scarab scroll is just chilling around here, looking at the slag po deposit hungrily, like as if they're ready to build a big power generator. Necron Lord over here is going to pester these storm boys. And these big shooter boys are going to help take care of this Necron Lord. What's it now? There we go, 60%. So they have managed to reduce the uh, Necron player's ability to build things up. What's being built over here? Nothing much entirely. Uh, Necron Lord going to try and prevent this listing person from being built by the Gretchens. But the Gretchen f squad full of boys. Hard to take them out as a builder unit. If they are not a repair. Look how quickly those Necron Warriors do go down. War Truck, really, really good get for the uh, Orc player. Very good choice. You have to be careful of these Immortals, though. The War Truck does move away. John Cena Beam comes down. Going to be slowly killing these Grots. And, the fact, in fact, the whole Grot squad does go down. Now standing in the middle of a lot of building fire. Well, the buildings don't do all that much in the way of damage. It is a nice addition. It does add up over time. These war trucks using their bomb chuckers and I do, again, love how the missiles just kind of croon over the side. Uh, Knob Squad teleports in with the help of the big mech with his custom teleporter. And the knobs are... Well, they've got a, a knob leader who is armed with a our claw, which will allow him to chunk through any and all sorts of armor. Warriors do teleport away. <coughs> Necron Lord joining in. Although his health is going down fairly quickly. He does have his um oh let me see what that's called. Um I don't know. It, it's it's a shiny green thing. I think that's the one I do apologise. Um, oh, that's the thing that keeps him immortal for a while. Yeah, never mind. Um, Knob Squad going to be capping the strategic location. John Cena Beam comes down, but once it comes down, Warchuk can just move them to another place and then put them out. Look at that. Glorious. Knob Squad not quite committing to the fight as of yet. What's been built over here? Well, moving over here. Uh, Storm Boys are moving around, decapping and recapping bits and bobs. The uh, Necron player, in a very precarious situation now, he is locked more or less into his base. While these warriors did do very, very well at the beginning, now that the Orc squad has, now that the Orc player has got all the boys he needs down, they go down pretty quickly. This Forbidden Archive getting smacked around. Necron Lord jumping in. Killing these boys very quickly. He does manage to kill one boy before he, he manages to get into the war truck. War truck, very low health, has been blown up to pieces. So that is going to prevent the uh, uh, shooter boys from doing anything all that useful. And they are very quickly killed off. So without that war truck, they won't be able to commit so much. Knob Squad does jump in there. Uh, another war truck goes down, but they are committing to killing and, and destroying all that they can within the base themselves. Another obelisk has gone down. Uh, Gorse turret is immortal for some reason. Um, I do believe that's probably something to do with... It might be a bug. Ah, there we go. And now it goes down fairly quickly. John Cena Beam comes down. Uh, Storm Boys jumping in to prevent these immortals from doing any firing. Orc Knobs going to engage these warriors in close combat. They have not been upgraded with the Power Claw as of yet. Got more things jumping in over here. Oh, it's just Grotz building up a listening first. These shooters are firing through the beam. Uh, Knob Squad, their morale has been broken, so they are just going to run away. Stormboy's going to come in tie up these Necron Warriors for a little bit before jumping away themselves. We have another shooter boy squad moving in. These Stormboys are going to decap. Well, sorry, they're just going to regular cap that strategic point there. A destroyer is now going to come out. It's going to be extremely useful for taking care of these knobs and these shooters. And the critical mass of Necron Warriors is going to push these boys and girls back. Well, not boys and girls. Orcs have no agenda, do they, really? Uh, War Track is going to be exploded. Ah, we now have um, some flash gates 
with a Mad Doc attached to him. Mad Doc will... Hold on if I can find my Orc page in my book. It does have an ability called... Um, Fighting Juice, which um, prevents death for 20 seconds, which is very good, very useful. Also naturally increases the health regenerate of the model that they are, of the unit that they are attached to. There goes the Fighting Juice, so they're just going to sit there and just engage in close combat. Although that is not what you want their close combat, it's nowhere near as useful as their long combat, or their range combat. They are going to run away. While it, doesn't, while it does prevent death, it does not prevent damage. So they are going... Oh, the, the... Ah, the Mad Doc was going to put down a big explodey thing, but the uh, Necrons did manage to destroy it. It's very expensive for these uh, Flash Gits to be killed. Uh, one does manage to escape over this way. The morale is broke, so they are not very useful at this moment in time. But while this is going on, uh, the knobs are moving back over here. But then the Necron Warriors are just going to teleport straight back into the fray. Necron Lord going to go around the flanks. This is... Ah, uh, yeah, the uh, morale for the squad has gone. So the using the custom teleporter, they are going to teleport away. Shooter Boy is also going to follow suit. Flash gets being re-equipped with a Mad Doc. Necron Lord moving forward a little bit, seeing what the listening post has to offer. Two units of Shooter Boys moving up. Grand total of three Shooter Boys with a Knob Squad and two Flash Gits. So the, the, this Necron player will have to tie up these flash kits in some way, shape, or form. Otherwise, I mean, these, these flash kits are just going to absolutely melt through anything and everything that they get their hands on. And Mad Docs are joining both squads. So, yeah. Two destroyers out on the field. Very, very good against infantry and heavy infantry. Ah, oh, they've moved forward a little bit too much. They are caught smack bang in the middle. Cena Beam comes down. Preventing these flash gits from firing. Necron Roy is slowly moving over around the centre. Big push coming in. These shooter boys aren't able to fire in just yet, but the moment that this beam does go down, uh, Fighting Juice goes down on both boys, on both squads, sorry. Knobs are in the fray, slashing and thrashing the Necrons as they engage in close combat. These destroyers are also engaging in close combat. Ah, a big burner bomb comes down, and it explodes. Look at the bl brilliant, glorious explosion. Abs I mean, it's killed a firm... I think it's killed more orcs than it did Necrons, but, I mean, in true orc fashion, that's what you want. Warboss is down on the field. He is now going to join in this knob squad. Tank Buster's also in to take care of the uh, destroyers. Oh, very exciting game, boys and girls. Necron doesn't have much to, to answer against this ever-growing amount of orcs. I haven't seen any resurrection orbs from the Necron Lord as of yet. We do have a Tomb Spider coming out. So that will help with the, the repair and... Well, not repair, the uh, collection of bodies and keeps the amount of Necrons on the field at a high amount. And, oh, well, the, uh, Necron Law, uh, the Necron player just surrenders. To be fair, not much he could have really done, considering that he has a big old army over here, and even more boys over all around here. So, very, very good game. That was very exciting. I'm now going to drink five gallons of water from the amount of speaking I've had to do in this game. Thank you very much for coming. It's been a pleasure, as always. Never a chore. Take it easy. Peace.